Welcome to Human Endeavors. Today our top 5 will be exploring some of the young activists shaping our future world. With the rise anti-human rights politics and global leaders taking inward-looking positions on global issues such as migration and environmental change, the space for exercising civil rights and civil protest is shrinking. Yet, in a heartening move, youth leaders are rising up and challenging the status quo. Their voice is no longer drowned out by strongmen politics and anti-human rights rhetoric. They're pushing back and reclaiming their space in the world. Without further ado, let's start off this list at number 5. With Adelaide Charlier, the failure to tackle the climate crisis could become the greatest human rights violation in history. But young people around the world are determined to take action by leading the battle for climate justice. Adelaide Charlier, a youth leader from Belgium, is at the forefront of this fight. I've always had a connection with nature, but in Belgium, climate change was just something we talked about. As a young person, I knew I had the opportunity to make an impact. Inspired by world-famous young activist Greta Thunberg, my friend and I joined forces and started striking for our future. The first time we staged a strike, there was 350 of us. At the second march there were 15,000 people and by the third 35,000 young people were striking, said Adelaide. Climate change is real, and adults need to start taking responsibility. We took a risk by skipping school, but it's what we have to do if we want to make change happen. We continue this list at number 4 with Karen watson Furrer. She's a keen campaigner for women's reproductive rights, and she's calling for safe and legal abortion in Chile. Up until 2017 there was a total ban on abortion in Chile. Now women can have an abortion when a woman's life is in danger when a fetus is unviable and when a pregnancy results from rape. Even though it's stepped forward, issues remain, and all women should have the right to choose, said Karen. To remove the stigma associated with abortion, Karen and her friend founded Quesi Sepa, let it be known in English, a platform for women share their experiences of abortion in a safe way. Women need to be able to talk about this issue, so they know they're not alone. I've been in contact with dozens of women who needed to speak up about what they've experienced and they've found a safe way to do it, anonymously, via this platform. At number 3, we have Bray and Monself. Human rights defenders from Colombia face continued threats and targeted killings. The Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights reports that at least 105 human rights defenders were killed in Colombia between 2017 and 2018. Bray and Monself, a 20-year-old psychology student from Colombia, is part of Human Rights Colombia, an NGO working to protect and defend human rights in his country. Brian's family was forced to flee their home due to the political unrest in the country and this experience has encouraged him to fight for the rights of others. My father once said, you have to fight for your dreams, and when you fight for your dreams they become a reality. That's why I am a human rights defender. I know how it feels to be threatened and attacked, and I would never want anyone to feel that way. Everyone one is able to make a difference and, together, we can change the history of Colombia. At number 2, we have Leila Ganolo Muthefhilai. Although the Bill of Rights enshrines human rights in the South African Constitution, the country's deep inequality means some enjoy human rights more than others. Leila Ganolo Mathefuli, a recent graduate, is breaking the taboos around menstruation and calling for mental health to be taken more seriously. When it comes to accessing healthcare, young people are often left behind. If you can't afford medical aid, you have to rely on derisory public healthcare facilities where young people do not get the care they need, said Leila Ganolo. Young women are judged when they ask for contraception while mental health is not a priority. Getting access to proper care is a long, arduous process. I want to change this, especially on my university campus, so I am petitioning my university to provide more access and services to students. At our number one spot, we have Miho Kawamoto, a young activist from Japan. She is leading the charge when it comes to educating Japanese society about their human rights and the importance of tolerance. In Japan, no one tells you about your human rights or that refugees and migrants are entitled to them too, said Miho. Recent figures revealed that the Japanese government approved just 20 out of almost 11,000 requests for asylum in 2017. These numbers are insane. It made me realize how this lack of knowledge around our rights makes us forget about the rights of others. I want to change this narrative and make sure I am doing everything in my power to support refugees and asylum seekers in Japan.
That is it for today's video. I hope you learned something new about some of the rising leaders and future global human activists. Many more could have been mentioned on this list, but alas our video stops here. This channel posts videos every single weekday so please subscribe if you want to learn more about human endeavors.